still know we have class at 12, but I still need to get up at 8 or 9. To get the train. Yeah, so I prefer every day is at 9. They finish that early. They finish class early. But it's still, time table is still the same. No yeah. more train for them. Yeah. Oh, well. This will be good for you then. Where do you live, Summer? Dublin <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15. Dublin 15? Yeah, 15. What's yeah. Dublin 15? Uh, it's a faraway place. <laughs> What's it uh, called? It's your Jules. I don't know. I watch So it tries. Dublin 15? Yeah. It's a faraway. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen, yeah, not fifteen. It's not Dublin fifty. Fifteen. Here. Aha, uh -huh. Clownig. Okay. It's too far away. Yeah, you have to take two buses. Mm, just one. Oh, just one is good. Yeah. Uh, so so nine A or thirty nine X or thirty nine. To where? Uh, city center? Yeah. yeah, city center. And you walk from the city center? Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, it's not good, but it's because I have to spend, spend uh, one, hour, uh, one half hour to come to the city center. Maybe you can cycle like Ben. And Actually, I, I, I yeah. don't know how to, how to, how to cycle. Really? Ben will teach you. You will, you will teach him how to cycle. Alright. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yes. Alright. Yeah. Cycle is in here, it's a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Only a little. Because there always have some accident happen in, beside UCC, around UCC. There's still the cycling and the accident happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, no, you, you should be careful, yeah. Um, I am. Um, I would cycle, today I didn't cycle because my bicycle has a flat tire. So I was going to cycle this morning, but then I saw, oh, no, flat tire. I can't mm. believe some, someone don't cycle. <laughs> yeah, cycle. it's much better to cycle, isn't it? I only cycle it's much quicker. Yeah. Yeah, much quicker. Dangerous. I it's know. No, no. It's, do you think it's dangerous? Uh, just be careful. Yeah, just be careful. Just be careful. Yeah. All right, let's continue now. Uh, states of matter, if you want to write that down. Now, I don't know, maybe, maybe you did this in chemistry. I'm not sure. What are you doing at the moment in chemistry? Bonding. Bonding. Mm. Mm. So have you done states of matter in chemistry? Okay, maybe you have. So, water, you know, in chemistry is a... Uh, yeah, it's a liquid, but it, it's made up of H2O. Yeah. So what is H2O called? No, but I mean, like, what, what is H2O? Like, it's a what? Is it an atom? Uh, it's a molecule. Yeah. yeah. Hydrogen is an atom. Oxygen is an atom, and H2O is a molecule, okay? You know this from chemistry. Yeah. So, as you know from science, things are made of atoms, but more importantly, these atoms you can put together and they form molecules. And you know this from chemistry, yeah? Um, so, what would you say a molecule is? What would be the definition of a molecule? Yeah. That's an atom. Um, you could say an atom is protons and neutrons, yeah. Um, but I mean, what would you say a molecule is? Aeronic uh, or and the. Yeah. Uh, Aeronic. Yeah. And uh, But this is physics, so I don't. I'm not worried about ionic or covalent bonds. I just want the general definition of... So, the atoms together. Yeah, so molecule is uh, atoms held together. Yeah. 
They're held together by a bond. Yeah. Now, I don't care which bond. Yeah. Uh, in chemistry, you study, what, four bonds? Yeah. Yeah. Ionic, covalent. Oh, yeah. Okay, and it's all okay. So for physics, we just say a molecule is firstly electrically neutral. So we we don't say it has a positive or negative charge because if it has a positive or negative charge, we call that uh, an ion. Yeah. So a molecule is electrically neutral, no charge, and it's a group of two or more atoms. And they're held together by a chemical bond. And the chemical bond is maybe whatever ionic covalent, whatever it is. So uh, for physics, this is the definition. Okay? Can you write this down for molecule? You got that? So an example of a molecule is water, which is, as you know, H2O. Everybody knows this. Two hydrogens and one oxygen. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more about this later, though. Uh, okay, so for example, water, what does water look like at the molecular level when it's frozen solid as ice, or when it's a liquid, or when it's a gas? So here's the picture here. Uh, when water is ice, the molecules look like this. They're, they're kind of locked together. They don't really move. Okay? When it is a liquid, these molecules, they're close together, but they can, they can move around each other. Now, which has more density? This picture or this picture? What's huh? What's Density, yeah. Which has more? Water. This state. Yeah. yeah. But you know this because this is 1,000 kilograms per meter cube and this is 916. And you can see that there's some space here. Whereas here there's no space. Now this is a gas. So in the gas, the molecules are quite far apart. And maybe, maybe they hit, but this is all. Okay, so ice is like this, is locked. Okay, liquid water is like this, moves, but there's no space. And gas is like this. Okay. When we go from ice to, li uh, ice to water, we call that melting. You know this word, melting. When we go from water to gas, we call that Evaporate, evapor, evaporation. When we go from gas back to liquid, we call that condensation. And when we go from liquid to solid, ice, we call that freezing. So uh, I need you to, to draw this and to write write these words. You need the words. They're very important, okay? So, if you go this way, you add energy. And if you go this way, you remove energy. Condensation means 
liquids. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can see this on the window. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so when the hot steam hits the window, it turns into liquid on the window. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I just think about the, the, the Chinese, Chinese means. Yeah, condensation in English. Yeah. Correct, yeah. The ice can become um, gas and it can skip the middle piece. Yeah. Do you know what this is called? I know the Chinese. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. Um, do you know how to make this happen? How to do this? Ben remembered from high school that you can go from, you can actually jump. It's possible to jump from ice to gas. You can skip the middle step. Do you remember how to do this? Yeah, how can you make this happen? With the uh, high, high pressure? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but a simpler way. What? Yeah, I know with the. Uh, yeah? With the. Uh, 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 English. Ah, no, this is complicated. No, this is a simple way to do it. Simple way to do it. Dry ice? Yeah, what is dry ice? It's kind of gas. Yeah, but what is it made of? The dry ice. Water? Uh, it's the CO2. CO2. So if you have some CO2 that's frozen, when CO2 melts, it goes straight to a gas, and it's not a liquid in the middle. That's called dry ice. It's frozen CO2. Now, there's other ways to do it, like what you said about changing the pressure. Yeah, right. so, but the easiest way to do this is frozen CO2. It's the easy way to do it. Uh, okay, so uh, did you draw this? Did you write the names down? No, you need all the names now. Melting, evaporation, condensation, freezing. You know all of these? Yeah. Okay, continue. So in a solid, the position of the atoms are fixed, like the ice. Uh, that is due to the, 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 like the friction that holds them together between the molecules. Uh, this is provided by metallic covalent or ionic bonds. Uh, so there's a lot here in the definition. Only solids can be pushed by a force. So if this is solid, you can push it. If it's liquid, you can't push it because it'll just, it'll just go around your finger. And if it's a gas, you can't push it. Only solid you can push. Gas? You can't push it? You can't push it. Why? <laughs> it just goes around. If I try to push the air, I can't push the air over to this part of the room, you know? Um, solids are strong enough to hold their own shape. Uh, solids, are, solids are usually denser than liquids. Now, this is the word you were looking for, Ben. When a solid becomes a gas, this is called sublimation. When a solid jumps to becoming a gas, it's called sublimation. Now, what I need you to write down, um, there's a lot here. The first two sentences and the last two sentences is enough. Okay, the first two and the last two.
cohesion or friction. Cohesion means like the friction between the molecules. So, so in solid, the friction is so strong, it's like uh, stuck. Yeah. yeah. In liquid, the friction is not as strong, so it can, yeah, it can move, yeah. So just remember the first two and the last two only. You know what this means. It means bigger density. Yeah. Who are you talking to, Gail? Who are you talking to? Does she not know you're in class? No, she just said that we go home together and watch one again. Yeah, I thought, what do you want for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> What do you want for dinner? She said she wants to have a, a Chinese burger. A Chinese burger? You know this burger? Yeah, uh, it's, it's very, very good. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's some restaurants sell. They sell this burger? Mm. What meat is in it? Choose pork. pork. You choose pork, beef, yeah, Okay, good. Maybe I'll try it sometime. Mm. Okay, next one is liquid. So in a liquid, what's different? Uh, the molecules are attracted to other molecules strong enough to keep them in contact, but not strong enough to fix. So the force, the friction, is strong enough to keep them together, but not strong enough to keep them locked. They can still move. Do you understand? Strong enough to pull together but not strong enough to keep it in one place. Um, the molecules continually move, so they keep moving. They're always moving. Um, so I think, yeah, I think it's enough just to write this down. Wait, but before you do, also, the density, do you think, is it more or less? The density. Compared to uh, solid? More. More? It's, it's Less? It's, it's depends on what kind of... It depends on the material. Good. For every material, it's less. Except water. Which is very, very strange. Okay. So, for example, um, if you have CO2. Yeah. When CO2 is a solid or whatever, nitrogen, say. When nitrogen is a solid, its density is more than when it's a liquid. And when it's a gas, the density is smaller again. Water is very strange, because when water is a solid, its density is actually smaller. It's liquid. Uh, there's, this is, I think water is the only material that uh, is like this. It's very, very strange, like this. So, uh, you can just write this down, please. What's wrong with you? Too much coffee? No, I mean, I'm the most uniform today, I think. The most what? Because you... Because I got a bit cold in the morning. Ah. I finished this whole t-shirt thing. Ah, I understand, yes. And I didn't sleep all night. So I was... 
Maybe you maybe you'll sleep better tonight. I can't because I need the real chemistry. Chemistry is too much sleep. Oh, chemistry is tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Tomorrow morning. Did you not review last week? I reviewed last week. Okay, good. Yeah, it is not enough. I was I quite heavily be jack, jack. I can't call jack like, but during the weekend I sleep really late. I so understand. I, I understand. I'm the same. It's like holiday lag. I sleep at four or five. Me too. Well, not four or five. More like, more like two or three. So I, I just afraid of my miss my train, so I didn't sleep. Ah, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Does your aunt work in the city center? Yeah. You take uh, the train together. Yeah. Where does she work in Grafton Street? Um. Oh. A shop, a food shop or a clothes shop? Bag shop. No, it's kind of it's not exactly bag. No, I understand. Like things like this, yeah. With jewelry, maybe. Yeah, because yeah. it's kind of brands thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you got this. Yeah. yeah. So the last one here is gas. So what do you think is different about gas? Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so in a gas, the chemical bonds are not strong enough to hold the atoms or molecules together. And from this, a gas is a collection of independent, unbounded molecules, which interact mainly by collision. So what I mean is, the force, it can't, it can't pull them together. They just move around. And sometimes they hit and just bounce away. So that's what I mean when I say... Uh, independent collision. You remember this word? What's wrong? Physics Tai Chi. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, okay, so I think it's enough if you write this down. And what about the density? Bigger or smaller? Smaller. Smaller, smaller density, yeah. Collision. Remember, collision is crash. Huh? Huh? No. No, no, no. Not this. Not this? Okay. Oh, is every equals? Yeah, it's this. Yeah, yeah. No, the same we did earlier. Um, M one U one plus M two U two. It's this idea. This kind of grades in China when I learned physics, and now I use the second different language and it's more better than before. Maybe your physics teacher is better. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, I, I can't say really bad, but Chinese education is not that good. It's different. It's difficult. I think it depends on the school like oh, yeah. and no. public. Yeah, well, China's very big, so uh, I'm sure it depends on the hometown and uh, many things. Uh, China's very good for maths. That's true. It is very good for maths, like um, China, South Korea, Japan. These are all very good school, very good places for maths in school. The multiply table cannot. Oh yeah. What you're saying? 
people yeah. know it very well in China. Yeah. Is and uh, it's from uh, it's kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yeah, very young. Maybe primary. Primary school. Yeah. Must be remembered. Oh yes. It's the same here. You must learn this in school. So, like, for me in school, in primary school, I had to learn up to uh, 12. The 12 multiply 12 is the, the last one. 12? Oh. Yeah. Oh, just learned to count. Um, yeah. We have 20% more. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have a Irish friend for one. She's really young. She's yeah. l learning in the middle school. Yeah. And... She will show me once her math book. Yeah. And she's in the second year of middle school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Years. And that's pretty easy. You know, just unknowable change. The problem is, recently in Ireland they changed the syllabus, so they made it easier. So, for example, now in school you only have to learn until ten multiply ten, whereas when I was in school it was twelve multiply twelve, and in middle school as well they lowered the difficulty. It's pretty easy now. It's pretty easy. Which is not good. It's not good. I don't like it. Uh, okay. Now, uh, I want to draw something for you here. So I'll just draw a graph here. Here I put temperature in um, Celsius. And here I'll put uh, density in kilograms per meter cubed. Now, uh, and this here, this here is there. For most materials, what do you think happens? Go if down. I make it hotter, yeah, what happens? Go down. It should go down. Yeah. And that's true for every material, but like I said, water is actually quite special. So I want to try and draw this, what happens with water. So if you were to look at water when it's ice, because this is, this is zero here, okay? As you warm it up, yeah, it will get um, less dense, okay? But then when it goes past zero, it's very strange, the density goes back up. And you know this because when it's liquid, it's 1,000. When it's ice, it's 916. It goes up. And it doesn't start to go back down. Does anyone know at what temperature? Uh, well, no? At 100. No, at, at 4. 4? Oh. Yeah. So what happens is, if you look at it, it looks like it's going like this. Okay? Yeah. Guys, listen. The graph looks like this. But if you zoom in, you know what I mean? Like if you zoom in, what happens uh, here between zero and four is quite strange. It goes down, but then it goes back up. Uh, and then it continues uh, back down again. Uh, I remember. No, no, just in water. For most, for everything else, it's just like this. It just goes, goes straight down. But water has this strange uh, bump between zero and four. Okay, so for example, uh, let's say you have something like, um, uh, let's say we have something like CO2 as a gas, okay? So which has more density? If the CO2 was 10 Celsius or if it was 20, which density is bigger? 20. Bigger density. 10. No, 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 10. Because oh. remember, if it gets hotter, the density is smaller. Yeah? yeah. It's getting hot. If the temperature is getting higher, the density gets smaller. But it's, so but it's moving. So yeah, so if it gets hotter, it moves more. So it's bigger volume, um, um, less density. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fresh water is four. Yeah, maybe between zero and four. Yeah, but.
But anyways, if, you, if you're talking about CO2, it means the hot gas would float to the top. Right? In a room. You know this, the hot gas goes to the top. Yeah. Like, you can feel the hot air, it moves up. Because the density is smaller. Okay? Water is a little bit strange. So if you have water here, what? What? Be strong. The ice floats on the top. This here is 1 Celsius. This here would be 2 Celsius. This would be 3 Celsius. And 4 Celsius, this has the most density. Yeah. Uh, but water... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. You know this. However, it so goes back to normal after 4. So, for example, this would be 5 Celsius. Sorry. This would be 5 Celsius, this would be 6 Celsius, this would be 7, and this would be 8. So uh, here the hot rises because this one has most density, but this one here is smaller. So I'm just trying to say, when between 0 to 4, water is opposite behaviour. The hot water has more density. It should have... It should have less density. It has more density. Okay, so the point is, between zero and four, water behaves very strangely. It's not like other materials. So, yeah. fish will live in four If, <laughs> well, this is actually important, okay? This is important, because it means that in winter, the fish, they can just swim at the bottom. So they don't die. You know, yeah, you know, like if the river is frozen, yeah, the fish, fish will just be on the bottom, yeah. where it's four Celsius. This is good for the fish. But yeah. if the degree, uh, I mean the uh, last last degree, the more than four, the ice will sink. Yeah. Huh? More than four. Yeah, but the four is at the bottom, away from the ice. If we have five degrees... Oh yeah, so if you put in like five degrees, the five degrees will start to move up. Yeah, so the five degrees will float to the top to be with the ice, so and then ice. the ice melts. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Get the idea? Yeah. It's very strange. Yeah. It's very strange. Why the fish says something interesting? The fish was frozen within the ice, and if you melt in the ice, the fish still can alive after a few minutes. What? I think some animals, their blood, it doesn't turn to ice when it gets to zero. So there is like some special liquid. So when it's below zero, it's still it's still a liquid. The problem is, if the blood turns to solid, it breaks the, the cell. But if it can stay as a liquid, then it's okay, it can still live, you know? I think frogs can do this as well. Frogs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can freeze the frog and then it will be okay. Because, and you've cut them, they won't be okay. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, we don't need to do that example since we talked about water. Okay. Uh, we've got time to try a couple of questions here. Where did I put my phone? We've got time? No, we don't have time. Just one minute. I don't know. Where did I put my phone? <coughs> That's the number. Summer can call you. Yeah. Did you check on that? No, but I... Oh, there it is. <laughs> what time are we at? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you'll need to try these at home. Uh, because the questions are so small, I want you to do all the questions for tomorrow, from both lessons. They're very short. Now, wait. I have one question before you go. Have you 
lived my vocation. One question just. Here's solid. If you make more temperature, if you increase the temperature, what's after solid? What's the next one? Liquid. Yeah? No. If you increase the temperature more, what's the next one? Gas. Gas, okay. These are three states. Solid, liquid, gas. My question is, are there any more? So if you increase the temperature more, is it always a gas or does it become something else? Do you know the answer? If I increase the temperature more, what's after gas? What liquid? No, no, liquid is in the middle. Do you think you know, Gal? Okay. Atoms or molecules. You have solid. After solid, become liquid. After liquid, becomes gas. After gas, it becomes. Nobody knows? Plasma. Plasma is what the sun is. Sun? Yeah, the sun is not solid, is it? Yeah. No, is it a liquid? No. No, 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 of course not. Is it a gas? No, actually, it's not a gas, it's a plasma because it's so hot. It's yeah. the next the next state. So it's, it's not so liquid. Not liquid. Okay. Not gas. So, so plasma. So you know it? So what's the fire? Huh? Which one is fire? Fire? Oh, fire's none of these. Because fire's not a material. Yeah. And lastly, is there, there is one before solid. There's one before solid. So before it's solid, it's something else. Now I won't tell you what that is because that's one of the questions. I want you to use Google to find the answer. So it's not, it's not solid, liquid, gas. It's actually something else. Solid, liquid, gas, plasma. It's like, um, I think in total there's seven states. Seven states? Yeah, seven. Believe it or not. Okay, we'll finish there. How was the dance state? Yeah, it, it, uh, it decreases. Yeah. Oh, I don't know actually for plasma. I don't know. But just change the temperature, we can get something from this. Yeah. But I know the... 